Hallelujah. Today I'm happy to be in the house of the Lord one more time. As the testimonies went forth and I thought about so many things that have happened to me personally and so many things that have happened to persons that I know who have been close to me. The song that was done last is so fitting to the circumstances surrounding all of us. Because we have all been through the situation where we have had low time. And there are some persons here who have been through low time, but there are some persons who still don't understand, who can fully appreciate the low times that some other persons have been through. I'll give you just one example of what I'm talking about. This is not my situation, but somebody I know personally. There's somebody I know personally right now who has cancer. She has been given just days to live. It has gotten to the point where whatever is happening on the inside has started to show on the outside. And I want you to imagine sitting back and looking at your family, knowing well, that every single second means that you draw closer to the end. You don't know storm until you have really been through a storm. Every single second, this individual is preparing. The last time I sat in front of my banker, The individual was making preparation for everything that she has. Every single second has become so important to this individual that she can't afford to stop giving God praise. And when I look at that situation, I think about the cancer that we're all going through right now. The cancer of sin, the cancer of death. Every single second, there will, those who are watching on the internet, those who are viewing us on social media, it doesn't matter where you are. There are situations you're going through right now. And if we just see our lives where we see every single second that's being so important that we count our blessings. We name them one by one. Allow it to surprise us what the Lord has done. Just last year, I sat in a hospital with three of my sons. You've heard the testimony over and over again. But until you have lived through a situation that looks so grim. One of my sons in particular, my second son, David. David got to the point where we didn't observe how long he, has had, he had had the fever for. He was so impacted that had he done 10 days with the fever that he had. And with, the, and with the virus that was inside of him, if he did not get the medication within 10 days, he stood the chance of his organs shutting down. We got David to the hospital on the ninth day. And then we were told that he only has tonight to get the medication. When they checked the amount of medication that he needed, the cost of the medication was over $2.5 million. He needed the medication immediately. In total, all the boys' medication was over $3 million. But David, who was at the worst point, needed the medication that very night. And we need God to work that very night. But there's something I remembered even then that I did with all my children. When they were born at the hospital, I said to the nurse, there were two nurses, I said to them, excuse us for a while, we're going to pray. And even from birth, I pronounced a blessing over them individually. I pronounced such a blessing over them and I said, God, whatever should come, take full control take full control and that very night that prayer came back to me when i looked at my son who needed that medication and it was almost 
and I, I, I'm saying almost because it actually worked but at that point we saw it as being impossible and my wife began to make some calls and we called insurance company we called here there at the time that all this was happening it was already minutes to 10 o'clock and he needed that medication when we called the place that supplies the medication they don't they don't store it because of the cost of the medication they don't store the medication they had to go to the distributor directly at that time of the night and explain the situation to the distributor that listen there's somebody who needs this medication right now what I'm talking about is when the clouds hang low and you cannot see the road and you ask the question Lord why there are some persons here who are so strong you don't ask why but God sometimes that in that question I ask God why 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 hallelujah we worked that night and when we finally got the call that the supplier is saying we're making preparation to get the medication to you we got the news it was news to us then because at that point all we could do is pray three boys in the hospital needed medication one needed it immediately the others needed it the following day and the medication was not even available I'm talking about the situation where your back is against the wall and it looks as if it is over it was not even available I ever doubt a God whose hands hold the universe how could I ever question his ability ah oh, hallelujah when my back was against the wall it looked as if it was over and then the call came that the medication that your sons need has been made available is on its way and if you want to intercept the vehicle to pick it up, you can come and intercept the vehicle. I jumped in my car, intercepted the vehicle, picked up the medication, took it to the hospital, and immediately they put him on the medication. Hallelujah. How oh, could I ever doubt the God that we come here every Sunday worshiping? I have been through enough to know that he is enough for me he has come through too many times that puts my mind at ease and I will stay my very life and I want somebody here today to do the same stake your very life Richie he's gonna take care of you it doesn't matter what the struggle is George is gonna take care of you Call yourself by your name. He's Kevin. He's going to take good care. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what your struggle is. But what I know is that he has been through. I have been through enough. And he is going to be. He is enough for me. Is there one person who is going through something today? Or you know of someone going through something today? As I sat down, I just thought that if we could learn how to worship God, even in our situation, if we could learn how to worship God, but sometimes we come and we come in here with a burden resting upon us so much that we can't even lift our hands and magnify the Lord. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exhort the Lord together hallelujah hallelujah a song was done earlier i've got mine my brother i have got mine and i challenge you today take yours take yours take yours hallelujah my son david who was supposed to possibly be dead by now hallelujah I watch him every day growing he's the biggest one out of all of them round good God Almighty 
I wish there is one individual here who could come to full appreciation that listen to this it doesn't matter what you think about yourself it's not about you it's not about you it is nothing about you it's all about him and he will get out of you what he desires if you allow him to just take control it's not about you it's not about how you look and how you dress and how you feel so don't come in here tell me you don't feel good i don't care how you feel i don't care what you're going through it's not about you it's all about him hey jesus it's all about him take it to the lord look what the lord has done i challenge anyone who has come in here with any spirit of doubt it doesn't matter what you're going through i can tell you i have been through enough to know sister campbell he's enough he's enough he's enough he is enough hallelujah he's enough hallelujah the very apostle we have in our midst is proof that he's enough hallelujah what will you do when you enter the house of the lord there's nothing you can do to satisfy god but simply just let go and worship god just worship him just worship him just worship him can you imagine god seeking true worship he seeketh true worship. Hallelujah. I'll stake my very life. I'll stake my very life. He's gonna take care of me. Stand where you are, everybody. Stand where you are. Apostle G. W. Johnson. I have been through. I have been through enough to know he is enough for me. Uh -huh. He has come through too many times. He has come through too many times. That's put my mind. At ease for good. for good. I'll stay my very life. I'll stay my very life. He's gonna take you. He's gonna take all of me. Hallelujah. For I've been through enough. For I've been Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Puts my mind. That puts my mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For good. I'll stay my very life. I'll stay my very life. He's gonna take He's care. He's gonna take care of me. me. For I've been through enough. For I've been through enough to know He is enough. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Al Almighty God. Jesus. God Almighty. God Almighty. You tell us to ask and it shall be given. And Lord God Almighty and they seek and it shall be in the name of Jesus Christ God Almighty Jesus 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 
You tell us to lay hand Jesus, and it shall be given. I curse the obstruction yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Yes. And it come out yes. from the body of these men and go back to the pit of hell. God Almighty, I said thanks. And the Lord said thanks. Anybody stretch your hand. Stretch your hand and keep just giving God thanks. Thank you, Lord. Give God Almighty thanks. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Grace shall begin. Transactions done. I am the Lord. Place your hand. Place your hand. And He is mine. He I followed up Charm to confess Thy voice divine Happy day Happy day When Jesus ah, Hallelujah How? He taught me how to watch and pray. Hallelujah! And live with God. Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 Wash. When Jesus washed. When Jesus 